we're gonna take a look at the BCM KMR. So let's go over a brief history of the design and development of the KMR and the Keymod system itself. The whole system was developed by a man named Eric Kinsel at Viltor. He actually works for BCM now. Uh, out of a desire to make a rail system that was lighter weight, increased the ventilation, and eliminated the need for Picatinny rail sections. Uh, it was actually developed as part of a project at Viltor for Marcor Syscom or Marine Corps Systems Command, along with the A5 buffer system. Around the same time that Voltor was developing the Keymod system, uh, John Novesky was developing the NSR, and Eric and John were friends, and Eric actually shared the Keymod system with him, and obviously ch he chose to integrate that with the NSR. Uh, when Eric actually went to work for BCM after 10 years in January 2013, uh, they kind of wanted to get a feel for what the key mod system was going to do uh, in the industry and, and where it was headed. Uh, and after the 2013 SHOT Show, they decided that they wanted to dominate the key mod market and went to work developing the KMR. Uh, some really unique features that are included on the KMR have actually been bouncing around in Eric's head. Uh, for a couple years, I actually talked to him before we actually went to do this video and got a lot of really good information on the history of the development of this system. A uh, really cool thing is the cross bolts. Uh, the way it actually clamps to the barrel nut are pretty much unlike anything out there. Uh, he saw some problems with other rail systems on the market and realized that they actually uh, mounted to the guns in a couple different ways. Uh, one was a clamp over the bottom, or um, excuse me, under the bottom of the barrel nut, kind of like a hose clamp style, and then the other ones was like a scope ring style with two halves coming together. And he realized that the biggest problem there was the arch of material that goes over the gas tube. Um, the fact that obviously it gets pretty hot when you're running your rifle uh, through extended strings of fire or even if you have a machine gun uh, upper, or excuse me, a machine gun lower, and you're running fully automatic through there, it gets kind of hot and that material expands quite a bit. And no matter how tight you seem to clamp down those other type of rails, the, the bolts would get loose uh, no matter how tight you got them down after those uh, material got up to temperature on the arch there. So what he came up with was kind of the two cross bolts going underneath the gas tube and over the barrel nut uh, over the top of the rifle. And actually we'll show you guys a picture of that here in a minute. And that actually eliminated the need for heavy duty bolts and you can see the cross bolts on the KMR look kind of lightweight and you're afraid it might, it might not be secure enough but in fact it is actually more secure than pretty much anything out there on the market. All right, guys, so we've had this KMR rail for about a month. And uh, some of you guys might say that uh, maybe that wasn't long enough to test it, but I've actually put this through three carbine classes and well, well over a uh, thousand rounds with this upper. And uh, as far as how it, how it held up, I, I, I had no expectations or no thoughts that this thing would actually fail. Um, I've, I've ran a BCM a bolt carrier group for a long time and an actual, actual complete BCM rifle for for a few years now and I have had amazing luck with it. I honestly think that the BCM bolt carrier group is probably, you know, top three out there. I mean, I, I honestly don't think you can get much better than that BCM bolt carrier group. But as far as the rail goes, uh, like I said, we put it. I put it through three carving classes. Uh, this upper, and uh, it's it's great. It's extremely lightweight. I think that's the first thing that I noticed when I took it out of the box was ex how extremely lightweight it was. Uh, you guys know that I've I've been using the uh, NSR from Nevesky for quite a while, and I thought that thing was light. Uh, this thing just blows that thing away. It's extremely light right out of the box. Uh, really surprising. And as far as the, you know how it distributes the heat on the rail uh, it does a really good job it does a really really good job uh, like i said I, I put it through a bunch of carbon classes already and we put you know thousands of rounds through it and uh, it, it it just doesn't it gets hot <coughs> excuse me it gets hot but it doesn't get hot to the point where you can't uh you know keep a hold of it so it does a really good job that way uh, if i had to say one negative thing about it and this is not a negative thing to be uh, by all means is the finish uh, the finish is easily chipped and come off but uh, if we know anything about our firearms, they are tools. Uh, there's something to be used 
and uh, it doesn't matter if they get scratched up. If you get scratched up and it bugs you, you know, just have a powder coat or something. All right, guys, so real fast, uh, I just wanted to give a thank you to B5 uh, some Stocks. Uh, they were nice enough to send us over some stocks to uh, include with this review. As you know, uh, I am a huge fan of B5. I run B5 on my uh, my rifle that I've used over the past couple years, uh, and just a great stock, lightweight, uh, doesn't wiggle a whole bunch, and you know, it's just held up really nice. So uh, if you haven't already, definitely go check out B5. Pretty reasonable and uh, really, really, really well built. So let's take a closer look at some of the specs and features of the actual KMR rail itself. As we all know, and as we've been saying for a long time since we actually had these rails in hand, it's extremely lightweight. The whole system itself, with the mounting hardware and the rail, comes out to seven and a half ounces. That's really, really light, guys. Uh, the material that the rail is made out of, and the way that the barrel nut and interface here, uh, index piece in the bolts are made, actually has all been designed to be as lightweight as it possibly can. The material the rail's made out of is different from anything else out there. It's actually mostly a magnesium blend uh, with a little bit of aluminum thrown in there that equals the strength of 6061 T6 aluminum, about a third less the weight. Um, so really, really lightweight, five ounce weight on the 13 inch rail alone. Uh, the barrel nut is a really interesting design as well. It actually uses the castle nut style interface so you can actually use a castle nut wrench to affix it or the proprietary BCM uh, barrel nut wrench that comes with it uh, and vice versa. So again uh, the whole rail itself really lightweight. If you look at the key mod slots they're actually offset from each other so you have a little bit more um, material in between each side of the rail which adds to its rigidity and strength. Um, really really interesting design here extremely well thought out from BCM that's the KMR rail we're big fans of it here at Range Time. All right, so let's look at some of the accessories that are actually available for the key mod system and the KMR itself. Uh, the rail actually ships from the factory with two polymer rail sections. There are longer uh, rail sections available. You have a five slot and a seven slot, and that allows you to mount these directly to the KMR and use your already existing uh, Picatinny rail sections. A really cool thing I wanna point out though with BCM's um, key mod rail sections, they've actually rounded off the ends here and gives it a real nice smooth feel, so you're not gonna worry about that snagging on uh, any gear or slings you might have on your rifle already it uh, actually is just a really cool little detail that they put into there that i uh, appreciate so the whole idea behind the key mod system is the fact that you will eliminate the need for any uh, picatinny rail sections and actually just use purpose-built key mod rail accessories uh, what we have here actually that's already available is the thorntail offset mount from impact weapon components obviously designed uh, with Haley strategic partners uh, in mind and the way this mounts to the key mod rail is it has these two keys here on the back and they actually go into the slots, slide forward, lock down, and you use your wrench to actually tighten them down completely. Very simple to interface, um, requires no real uh, you know, downtake of the rail or anything, you just can simply do it right in the field. Your mount is right there. Uh, and this mount actually is optimized for using the m WML, like Corey has on his rifle, I have one on my rifle as well. So again, uh, key mod accessories, the way to go with this rail to keep the weight down. Uh, impact weapon components, a great place to look at uh, for those accessories, like you have the thorn trail offset mount, they do a hand stop, and they also have a QD uh, sling mount you can use on this rail as well. All right guys, so along with the KMR rail that BCM sent to put on uh, one of our rifles, we ended up putting on my uh, Palmetto State Armory rifle, they actually went ahead and also sent one of their uh, BCM KMR complete upper receiver groups. Uh, this is their 16 inch overall lightweight upper receiver group. It does have the BFH barrel, uh, it is 16 inches overall length, mid-length gas system, that good uh, mil-spec manganese phosphate barrel finish, uh, the chrome-lined uh, chamber, uh, M4 feed ramps, 556 chambering, 1 and 7 uh, twist rate, pretty standard uh, barrel, really, really well made right here in the USA. Um, accurate barrel we've taken out to as far as we can take it here on our range and had no problem uh, with accuracy whatsoever with uh, the ammunition from Summit. Uh, they did include their diamond head uh, backup iron sights that are BCM branded front and rear, a BCM bolt carrier group, and gunfighter charging handle. At the end, of the other end of the barrel, we do have the BCM gunfighter compensator Mod Zero. Okay guys, so that was our review of the BCM KMR. 
a really, really great rail system you guys should all definitely take a look at, whether it's uh, the complete upper or just the rail itself to upgrade your rifle or add to a build that you may be putting together. Uh, we do see really great things for the key mod system in the future in the industry. Uh, we do think that the standardization is a great thing and the availability of accessories is going to become uh, more and more as the time goes on with the key mod becoming more accepted. Um, if you're not a fan of the Keymod system, the rail is still something you should take a look at uh, just for the factor of its weight and innovative design. Um, we think it's a great option, one of the best rails we've ever put hands on here at Range Time. Uh, definitely something you guys should take a look at. If you have any questions about the KMR itself or the review video, go ahead and leave those in the comment box below. Uh, if you have technical questions about training out here or anything of that nature, go ahead and send myself or Corey an email at rangetimets.com. If you have technical questions about the KMR, uh, send BCM an email. You can contact them through their website. We'll leave a link in the description box below. Again, thanks a lot for watching today, guys. Please hit the like button, share it, favorite, and subscribe.